Thank you all very much for being here. I am deeply honored to be standing next to, Chief, uh, to Jeffrey Deskovich. Um, it is a real pleasure to be wor working with him on these issues. Talk. Sending the wrong person to jail is a prosecutor's nightmare. Nothing more keeps me awake at night than the idea that we might actually convict somebody who is innocent. I was convicted in the face of a negative DNA test which showed that semen found in the victim did not match me. Ultimately, I was cleared 16 years later because further DNA testing, which I had been fighting for previously to get, uh, not only reaffirmed my innocence, but it also identified the real perpetrator who subsequently uh, confessed and was arrested and sentenced for the crime. Aborn is the only candidate who not only says that he is a wrongful conviction advocate, but he has a comprehensive program which has been rolled out today in which how specifically he is going to accomplish this. Uh, in the article in the Daily News this morning, uh, Judge Snyder cites her second look program as evidence of her being a wrongful conviction advocate, yet there's nothing other than just those words. There's no body of work. And in addition, when she says that there was groundbreaking work that she did in my case, I would like to make it clear to the media and to the public that Judge Snyder did not work on my case. The role that she played was that after I was exonerated, she was one of four people who studied my case. She was not a factor in me being cleared. That report also, in some ways, was not was politically correct. She did not want to mention Janine Pirro by name. The report started off by saying that there would be no finger pointing. In other words, that it was predetermined ahead of time that nobody was actually at fault. So the question becomes, what can we do as DA's office? Uh, if I have the privilege of being elected DA, I intend to set up an Office of Professional Responsibility. I found that many cases have false confessions. When that happens, we will admit it and examine it and take rapid steps to exonerate it.